Tired of eating the same old mashed potatoes all the time? Having some friends over after lockdown and need a fancy dish? Have an unusually large potato and don't know what to do with it? Not to worry, I have you covered. In today's video, we make Hasselback potatoes. Begin by choosing the largest potato you can find. It does help if the potato is fairly cylindrical. If your potato is having issues staying still on your chopping board, use a peeler to peel off one or two slices off the bottom of it. This gives it a flat surface to rest on. Next, what you want to do is to slice slits along the length of the potato, but not all the way through. If you are a little shaky when using a knife, here's a little trick. Place two chopsticks along the sides of the potato. Cut all the way down until your knife hits the chopsticks. Repeat until you've gone the length of the whole potato. However, you will probably still need to manually slice the edges. Once that's done, place a few slices of butter into the slits of the potato. Season with salt and place in a preheated oven for about 30 minutes. Once your potatoes are cooked, remove them from the oven and let them cool for about a minute or two. Next, place in some slices of buffalo mozzarella into the slits of the potato and top it off with even more cheese. Here, I'm using a mixture of regular mozzarella and cheddar. Place it back in the oven for about 5 minutes or until the cheese is melted and brown. Remove it, let it cool for a minute or two, and top it with some sour cream, some fresh black pepper, and maybe some thyme. Serve it up and enjoy! And there you have it! How to make Hasselback potatoes. As you can see, this is quite an easy and forgiving dish to make. Not only that, but you have the freedom to spice it up however you like. Bacon, chives, curry powder, other cheeses, other herbs, even pasta sauce. If it tastes good with other potato dishes, it will taste pretty good over here. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, remember to like and subscribe and to share the video. Also, let me know in the comments down below what other dishes you'd like to see or what other recipes you'd like to learn. But for now, I'll say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.